three, two, one. And don't forget Seminole fans, we will be back out. The digital media department at FSU is responsible for the content on Seminoles.com, the official website for Florida State Athletics. The department is a team of three guys whose jobs truly never feel like work. The thing is, if you love what you do, it's never going to be that tough. It's never, if you work a 12, 13 hour day on a football game day, which we do if we're on the road or be it at home, it's not tough because we love what we do. With all of their resources, the digital media department is able to provide an in-depth look into Florida State Athletics on multiple platforms. It's not just a print media anymore. It's not just electronic media. It's not just a television show. What ways can you better incorporate something, you know? Be, and that's why I love that we have the job to be able to do on the internet, because we get to do it all. It's not just a, hey, you know, write a story, or write a blog entry, or put up a little video interview. I mean, everything is up there. You get to, whatever you want to know about Florida State, it's up there. Social media is a big part of people's lives nowadays, and the digital media department is using it to its full advantage. Lane Hurt, the Road Warriors. I'm gonna be driving this leg. Take a look at our ride here, we're in Savannah, Georgia. On our way to Raleigh. The new and exciting thing is the Road Warriors. We've had the opportunity this year, thanks to Camping World and, and the Boosters, to go on every road trip with the team. And while we're doing that, we're, we're blogging, we're on Twitter and Facebook, asking fans where we should stop to eat and whatever city we're going to be in. I think it's a, a great opportunity for fans to interact with us and, and can be a part of what we're doing. It, it, it's a blast getting on the road, getting an RV, I mean, it's just so much fun. So besides all the fun, what does a typical home game week look like? Sure, typically on Monday mornings, uh, we'll gather our thoughts, we'll have a staff meeting, put together our game plan for the rest of the week. Then every Monday we have a live press conference which we stream on Seminoles.com. So we'll set up for that at about 10, 1030. That goes live from 12 to about 1, 1 We'll then take that down, compress that footage, put it up back online as an archive from the live broadcast. We'll then do our practice report Monday evening. We'll come back on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and prepare pretty much the same way as we get ready for that upcoming Saturday's game. Wednesday night, we'll do a live uh, video presentation of the Jimbo Fisher call-in show, which is streamed on Seminoles.com from the Hotel Duval. Then on Saturday, our crew's here four hours before the game, preparing, doing any video features that we might be working on for that specific game. And after the game, we'll come back into the More Athletic Center, we'll digest all of that content and uh, build out all of our packages whether it's highlights, interviews, or press conference footage, and put that back up, and then take a deep breath and get ready for it again on Monday. Though the hours may be tough, and the work is never ending, there are always rewards. The most rewarding part is definitely game day. Love the live events down there, shooting the highlights. When, when you have a big run or a big pass play that comes right at you, and, and you get it perfectly, and then you can put that up on Seminoles.com, and and people are watching it and they're like, hey, wow, that's a really cool shot. I remember that play. And just like everyone else who bleeds garnet and gold, the digital media department is just another part of the Seminole family. The cool thing about our job is we're all friends. And I think that's what makes our department so unique is the fact that we actually really like each other. I mean, we're actually good friends. We play golf together, we go to church together, we go out to eat together. We're actually really good friends. Hey, hey Galena, it's good to see you too. And, and, and that's pretty cool. And, and, and then for, for me, it's like, I mean, I'm born and raised in Tallahassee. I've been bleeding garnet and gold since I was born. So to actually be here and to do this is pretty neat. So it, it's a lot of excitement, a lot of fun, and it always keeps you on your toes. I'm Christy Dishner for the Jimbo Fisher Show. Yeah.